Hello YouTube family and friends, my name is Milo and I'm here to present you today a adobo. It's called uh, pork and chicken adobo. I'm going to mix them up today and I'm going to show you the ingredients, all the procedure and how I'm going to get it done. Alright? Okay you guys, so here is the pork. I got three pieces of, uh, I think this is short ribs with a lot of meat in it, a little bit of uh, little bit of uh, ribs right here three pieces and then two pieces of uh, chicken I have onions it's probably medium onions and I have about five cloves of garlic and make sure they're all chopped up and three peppers um, I'm gonna show you how or when I'm gonna put that in there and then I have one fourth of vinegar any kind any kind of vinegar and then one third of a soy sauce, any kind of soy sauce, uh, salty, less salt, it's a soy sauce. And also I have about a tablespoon of uh, ground black pepper. And I have about five or six bay leaves or laurel leaves. And also these are shot, um, shot glass and I got two of those brown sugar. And so I'm gonna show you what I'll do first and I'm gonna cut up all this meat here cut it up into bite size and then that's what I'm gonna do right now okay so I finished cutting the chicken and the pork so here's the pork right here here's the chicken I didn't take out the bone because it's always good to eat adobo with the bones otherwise it won't be an adobo without the bones right and then also I did not take out the skin this is two breasts of chicken and there are three pieces of short ribs of uh, pork and so this is the part that I'm gonna be using I'm not gonna put any oil in there so we turn on the um, the stove. That's too high. I'm gonna lower it down like that. But yeah, I don't put any uh, oil in the pan. So what I'll do is I'll just put the chicken in there first, like that. And then uh, I'll, I'm gonna. Go ahead and brown it a little bit and then I'll add the pork, okay? So that's what it is on a medium. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it over. That's all I'm doing, just turning it over. And then um, once it's a little bit of brown, I'm gonna put my pork in there. It's almost brown. It doesn't have to be really, really brown. put the lid on the pan I just you know it's just open a lot of people I mean there are many ways in how you cook your pork chicken adobo there are many ways but this is my own way so and I'm doing this to brown it so that if there's any juice on the chicken then um, it drains it out or it dries it out a little bit because I don't like a lot of juice. Um, once I put the once I put the soy sauce and all the other ingredients with the chicken, then it produces juice. So okay, so I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put it in the pan and then uh, put the pork in there. About done. I'm gonna put it right there in the bowl. Put the pork. I suppose you can put it together, you know, it didn't have to be separated. But like I said, this is just how I like it. Anymore. 
while the pork is cooking, I went ahead and turned it up. It's above medium, so it looks like it's a high because I'm just browning the meat. It doesn't really matter if it's uh, medium or high, I just want the meat um, to turn brown. That's all I'm doing here. Okay, so the pork is brown. I'm gonna add the onions right here, the chopped onions. And then the garlic at the same time with the onions. And then um, I'm gonna lower this one, the heat to medium. There you go. So I'm gonna let it cook for about probably five minutes. I still don't have the lid in there. I'm gonna add the bay leaves. I usually just put it right there because I'm going to mix him up anyway. And then the black pepper. You can substitute peppercorn instead of pepper if you want. And then I'm going to add the soy sauce. And then the vinegar. And then the sugar. So I'm gonna mix him up. So I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, so I did mix it up and uh, I'm gonna put about half cup of water, okay? I used my one fourth uh, cup because I can't find my one cup. So I did two full of it, okay? And then I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna get the lid and then cover it and I'm gonna cook it for about 20 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes after, I'm gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes and it should be done. Looks really good though. I'm gonna put the pepper just on top. I'm gonna taste. Very good. By the way, um, before I stir him up, I put um, one fourth cup of uh, olive oil in there, and in addition, okay? Um, remember, I didn't use any oil when I was browning the meat. So um, after 20 minutes, I checked it and I stir him up. I stir it up and then I put um, one fourth cup of olive oil. It didn't, it didn't have to be an olive oil, but that's what I prefer to use can be any oil. Um, I don't use any other oil but olive oil. So that's why I had to okay, use so that. It's done. The total cooking time is uh, 35 minutes. Okay, I just want to make sure that the pork is done. And mm, 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 looks really good. So let's see. Hold on. So hook him in the mouth. This is for you. You've been asking for this. Chicken pork adobo. Look at that. 
Yummy. All right. Uh, what you hear, it's really good. So here's my brown rice. And uh, I'm going to get a spoon. Hook him in the mouth. This is for you. Mmm. So good. So awesome. You got the recipe. Otherwise, I'm going to put it on my uh, YouTube channel, okay? The recipe is just perfect. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, the meat is tender. The chicken is tender. And it's really, really good. Look at that. Really good. It's not too salty. All right? So, thank you for watching. And um, I hope you don't forget to, to click on likes. To click likes and subscribe. And um, you have a wonderful day. Enjoy every moment of it. Eat a lot of adobos. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna give you the recipe so you know what to do, how to cook them. Okay? Thank you. I'm gonna eat now.